Hi guys and welcome to another video of Rishabh Dhanaka like the original Rishabh basic I am Rishabh Dhanaka so sorry about that but welcome to another video of original Rishabh and today I'm going to talk about racism in the sweet old Canada so let's see the video and let's judge for ourselves just a disclaimer this person is not autistic nor he is mentally unstable this is just the average I'm uh, I would say Canadian person that you can find so I don't know what's in this motherfucker is yapping about but let's let's let me know the torture once again and let me watch this video with you once again so we are here with this brilliant video shot by courtesy of the dumb fucking Canadian guy I don't know if he's the guy or girl over the damn I don't know but let's just start with the video <laughs> the worst Indian in like the worst Indian impression I've heard. Oh, he's rushing me, bro. He's like like trying to like fuck British Indians like and like Arabic people accent mixed with each other. Like we hear accents mixed, but he's trying to sound more Arabic, but also like brown. I don't know what the fuck. He's rushing me. At least we know how to pronounce vowels, bro, for real. Super brown guy, yo. So from today, from today, guys, I'm the super brown guy. Okay, I'm changing my name to super brown guy. At least I'll get views with that, bro. Hmm. Is that an insult, bro? Is that an insult, brown guy? Stupid. What? <laughs> so today, <laughs> what? I'm just Google so your fucking app that you ordered from food. <laughs> just check the name of the movie show. It's like, oh, you brown guy, stupid. 90% of a country's economy runs from us, bro. Like the Asians, mainly like brown people, the yellow skinned people. Like, at, least, at least you should know the taxpayers, my 90% of the taxpayers are us, and we're supporting a dumb fucking country. I don't want to see the button drama, just just go. Call your work, please. Call your work, bro. At least learn how to pronounce place, bro. Like, you, you motherfucking idiot can't pronounce place and go like, place, place, place. Like, <laughs> you dumb. Like, <laughs> motherfucking Canadians are 90, like, they are mixed between, like, either they are French or the British. So either they don't know how to pronounce English, like, at all, or the motherfuckers, like, skip those vowels, bro. <laughs> The only two things they're good at, like the only things that like induce spice and flavor in their lives is sweet or racism and maple syrup, bro. That's the only two flavors you have in your life. Be grateful for that. <laughs> you are a customer, you don't fucking need it. What the thing you are? Okay, okay, before before we go into the aggressive part, let me give you a brief context. This is the delivery guy and he has come to deliver his order and he the the person doesn't the person that ordered the food doesn't have exact change for the food. And I don't know where how he ordered like most of the people I guess do phone orders because I think he is like an old retired some individual. I don't from his sound, I don't think he is mentally stable or he's a youth i'm not sure if it's just his voice maybe i don't know maybe he's a youth but either way he's like he just ordered from like calling the store right so like directly calling the store and like calling the number and just ordering food and i think like a lot of stores even in india like they have this uh they ask the customer after that do you want to pay in cash do you want to pay in card if you want to pay in card you have to tell them that you have paying a card so they will bring the card machine or they'll you can like most of the time we don't have to even use the card like like india and other asian countries most of us have that samsung pay and other application that make our digital life easy even in the united states we have cash app in india we have google like most popularly used is google pay and paytm you might have heard of it might not have heard of it so we have online payments we have cash options obviously 
and we also have like obviously the card facility and while ordering they always ask us do you want to pay in cash do you play in card or are you going to go for online payment if you just say cash or like card online payment they'll just deliver the order and you'll just open your app you'll just pay them easy right and easy if you don't have change and if you have had the change you can just say cash and just in case if you're saying cash it's the responsibility of the driver to bring the change if it doesn't bring i guess you are you have the right to be angry but i think going racist is too far and in this case he didn't even say that what he wants like what mode he wants to pay in and he didn't say that you should bring cash i guess western society the so-called uh i would say modern western society has not switched to cash app yet i guess maybe he's an old guy he just likes to pay in cash then i guess you should just say that you want to pay in cash so that the person that's bringing the food will bring change or guess he will expect that you're gonna pay him through the cash app or whatever the fuck app you use app like most of those fuckers use apple because they're they're too their brains are too small to uh, use a fucking android and press two buttons to do a stuff they want everything on their fucking fingertips so i guess you guys use apple pay but like this motherfucker doesn't know how to pay the like online i guess he's too old for that i guess he's from gen uh, like millennium gen millennium i don't know it's called millennium or maybe he's late gen like early gen z like from my generation but like the first batch or the second batch like around like 20 like 30s of like late 30s maybe ah it's coming what is that an insult like i think he's trying to validate that oh don't look like me that you think you're crazy you're not crazy like obviously he's not the crazy guy you're the motherfucker crazy person who's yapping for like two per two minutes and like cannot say like oh just go and bring the change just say that or just call the store yourself or tell him to call the store and bring the change they like, call the store going on to the person's face if you could have said that thing politely or like if you even if you want to be aggressive just say you call the store and tell them that you didn't bring the change and i want to pay it cash then you can ask the store for it you're just counter, like pulling up the fucking phone and just yapping slurs on the internet and think that people will support you i mean yes people are supporting you dumb fucking canadians are supporting you because i guess they do not respect other regions obviously they're descendants of the french people they do not respect anything the french people do not respect anyone in the european society they, the spanish hate the french the italian hate the french the more fucking english people hate the french people like every european continent like country irrespective of their like uh cultural differences are united to hate french people like they're so fucking annoying and that's reflective of the Canadian society, which is built on French people. So I guess it's the it's it's it's, it's inheritant. Like it came from their forefathers, I guess, to be racist and be disrespectful to the other races. I guess they think that fucking superior for that shit. Oh, so he he at least ordered from the app. In the app, if you have pressed cash, in that case, I guess you can be angry at him. But if it's the app's fault, it's neither the cashier's flag, the person that's bringing the food's fault, now it's your fault. So I guess you cannot rage at the person that's bringing you the food. And if you're too, you have problems with that, you can just raise your concern to the particular app. So, for example, if I have an issue with Domino's, I'll just raise my uh, like concern on Domino's. Although it's a late, so like the service is sometimes bad, sometimes good. It's a 50-50 scenario. I, I should raise the concern with Domino's or the particular brand. And if I have a problem, I'll just go to support, just call the customer care, just tell them that this scenario has happened. I press cash. 
but there was no input on the guys delivery guys stuff that they would pay through cash and the delivery guy was not informed on the app that he paid to crash the issue solved maybe it's his fault but that doesn't allow you to go all ballistic and racist just for a fucking food like it's and also if you're racist better not film yourself and show it to the world that yeah me for me motherfucking canadians are racist come to canada and get slammed motherfuckers that's not what's gonna happen if if it's what's a black guy and if it was in the us or like some other place where the, the black people are more dominant he will just slap the fuck out of you you saw my last video right there right that motherfucker just pulled out a fucking pew pew and shot the fucking uh employee for not giving him the fucking chipotle do you do you think that that person will stand up like stand here and listen to you, all your bullshit this guy is a lot have lots of patience standing there he could have just gone and just called the customer care that i'm not going to deliver this food this customer is annoying as fuck and being racist and stuff like that i'm done with that job you can keep your money you can keep your food i'll give a shit i'll just pay for my pay for the food uh like to the company and i'll just leave the leave this to you and the customer care to take deal with because I, I as a person i don't think we, you should deal with these kind of retarded fucks who don't know how to talk to people in general and think they're too superior just because they know how to order food on their fucking phones First of all, he's not selling the food. Like, he could be a delivery person from the app itself, right? So, most of the people that are delivering food, like from Jamaro, Swiggy, or, or like any other food service, for example, I think in the United States, Grab is the most popular thing. I don't know what's popular right now. Uber Eats, probably. They are not the person that is selling the food. They are just a delivery service. They are just a middleman between restaurant and you. And if you check the bill correctly, like for any every order in Uber Eats Zomato, there is a delivery service charge. That charge is being paid to the delivery guy for his service of delivering you the food. He's not responsible for the preparation of the food, for the ingredients that put in the food, or for the food being bad or good. He's just here for to deliver from one spot to another. His only responsibility is to take care of the package so that it's not damaged or to take care that the food is delivered on time so it doesn't get stale or it doesn't get cold okay that's the only responsibility i guess a delivery guy should have a rest of it it's not up to the delivery guy whether it's to bring you change and stuff like that he's just here to deliver your food if you have pressed a cash and he doesn't have cash and he's not really not informed that's done and even if it's his fault i don't think you have the authority to go on like or you motherfucking brown people are all like this and stuff like that. Just because you have the money to spare to order food doesn't mean you're superior to anybody in the country. Everybody can order food. Oh my god, he's, he's trying to imitate and that's so fucking cringe. And things get even worse, you see, later, right? Oh, don't raise your fucking voice at me. You're the fucking idiot who's screaming like fucking hell. I had to release my PC's volume to fucking 20% so that I can listen to your dumbass voice, you dumb fucking cunt.
Yeah, you're not, you're not his son. If you were his son, you wouldn't be dis- disobedient. You dumb fucking cunt. Your parents wouldn't raise you well. That's why you talk. You're acting like a fuck dang fucking idiot. How can you, how can you be so confident as to post these kind of videos and be like, "Oh, I'm the prince, the victim over here. I'm a fucking Canadian. I I I've sucked French dick for like not ten fucking generations, and now I'm like a dickhead. I'm gonna." follow in my ancestors footsteps and be racist to other people because I that's the only thing I can do in life. It is. Bro, you just kept the food in this in this floor. Bro. Oh my god. If you pick up your food, the food should be in your hand. Why don't you just keep the food on the floor? Who keeps the food on the floor? If I fucking idiot, I mean, at least not in the doorway. If, like you just, you just don't pick up your food and then put it on your doorway. I guess you can. If you if you if you're into it in like in sitting down on the floor and eating food, that's a different story. You just don't keep your food in the walk place where everybody's walking. Maybe he, they have dirty shoes. Maybe they have just have germs in their shoes. Like why are you keeping your food in the fucking doorway, bro? Like. Are you an idiot? Like, do you even have hygiene rules in your house? The only insult he knows, like, oh, fucking stupid. No, no, listen to this, what he's doing. Like, this kind of behavior, like, I wish that fucking last black guy from the last video shot this motherfucker. I would be very grateful for to that person and to God for creating that person to shot this person for him. The only thing you know is stupid, dummy, stupid, dummy, with that fucking franchise. Okay. Oh no, no fuck. Okay, three words. He knows three bad words. Okay. Dummy, stupid, fuck. It's like it's like I'm seeing like a fucking fifth grader trying to insult people. Oh, you stupid, you dummy, you fuck, stupid, dummy, fuck, bro. <laughs> I bet this guy to play Valorant, bro. He will learn the lesson of his fucking life, bro. Try, try, try playing in. F- fucking texas servers north virginia servers and he will learn the lessons of the flavors of life to be honest wrong con yeah i'm 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 on schwarzenegger fucking idiot Okay, clown, clown, okay, clown, fifth, fifth, way, fifth, way, clown. Yes, fifth way. Oh my god, I know. I is that an is that even an insult? Is that even an insult? I don't think being as being a superhero is an insult. I think I think modern I I I blame the China Alpha for being fucking stupid, but now I appreciate the I appreciate them after hearing this motherfucking millennium bro. For real, I, I The, the, the thing that you have on camera is gonna be used against you if you call the police. I mean, maybe the Canadian people are ra- police are racist. But I don't know. I didn't. I have never been to Canada, and God bless. I have never. I will never go to Canada, bro. For real, these motherfucking clowns. Oh god, these fucking French descendants, bro. With your fucking retards, bro. For real.
Oh my god, this is the word. This is the best part. The worst laughter, bro. Bro, like, imagine an adult doing this kind of behavior. Can you imagine a functioning adult? A functioning fucking adult doing like this kind of behavior, bro. This is like this is this part. Food, I'm free for today. Guard, free food. Like, what, what the fuck is this, bro? What the fuck is this? What kind of fucking behavior is this? Like, do you think this is a functioning adult right there? Oh my god. Bro. God bless Canada. This is the reason I guess they have to sponsor people to come to their fucking country because no one wants to come to a country of these fucking fools. Ah. Uh. This fucking country promotes like, oh, we are a fucking inclusive country. We support the LGBT plus community. We support the women. But fuck racism. Racism is a comedy, right? Racism is fun, right? Fucking midgets. Fuck. Just for real. Ah, this is one reason I hate country. Yeah, see, see. How oh. much? Just because we do the essential work doesn't mean that we are lower than you, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, the people don't carry cash because they're getting for a fucking mug. You dumb fucking idiots. Fucking carrying gun, like you know the worst part. You cannot carry protection for yourself, but the other motherfucker can have fucking gu illegal guns, and you can't do shit because you're not a native citizen, and that's fucked up. I think. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you really like the video, press the like button. If you think any Indian people are dumb, write that in the comment section below. Hashtag fuck maple syrup. Anyways, we we'll meet soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.